that you don't need them. Let me run down the numbers for you here because the critics are calling this reverse Robin Hood. Uh, take from the poor to pay uh, to the rich. Uh, Mick Mulvaney is calling it taxpayers first. This is about taxpayers and getting the taxpayer out of the business of picking uh, winners and losers in social safety nets. What it means for sure here, tanks and tax cuts, uh, bullets and billionaires, this is what the critics would say, uh, defense spending up, border security up, including $1.6 billion to pay for a wall, and $200 billion in infrastructure spending. Where does that come from? It comes from non-defense discretionary spending uh, being cut. We're talking about uh, food stamps, that's SNAP. We're talking about disability benefits, and we're talking about Medicaid. Look at that number for Medicaid. Big. $610 billion. Uh, if you believe the Congressional Budget Office and how it scores, the companion piece of legislation, really, that is um, health care reform. Uh, it's more like $800 billion. The president promised on the campaign trail no core Social Security cuts, no core Medicare cuts, no core Medicaid cuts, but you can see them there in this bill. And it also assumes some pretty lofty goals here, 3% growth rate, the GOP health care bill passes, and that tax cuts won't add to deficit. Uh, it does arrive at, arrive at a balanced budget, um, a fiscal hawk's dream over about 10 years, but it takes these big projections and assumptions to get there. There's a biting op-ed on the Washington Post, uh, the Washington Post right now. Um, from um, Larry Summers, who used to be a Treasury Secretary yeah. for the Democrats, and he says uh, if you believe in economic tooth fairies, you could get this done. But if this was the kind of budget you were presenting at a, at a freshman Econ 101 class, you'd fail the student. Hmm.